What is going on YouTube? This is Matthew B1212 here. I want to show you guys a quick video just to explain to you guys. So there's actually on GTA 5, there is a bonus to the shark card packs at this point. If you guys want to check this out real quick. So right now, um, they actually have, and this was a different screenshot, but um, let, let me go to the screenshot I want to explain to you guys. So they have a bonus. So if you buy a shark card from now until March 5th, which you guys have about a week, and this has been going for two or three days now. So you guys still have some time, but... Um, there is uh, an update where um, they actually added a promotion. So you get twice as much GTA money when you buy the Whale or Megalodalian shark card. So now basically if you buy the $50 shark card or the $100 shark card, which, um, which basically means if you get the $3.5 million pack or the, the $8 million pack, you're going to get twice as much money for that pack. Now the biggest thing to explain to you guys is the $3.5 million when you're basically going to get $7 million, almost you're, you're basically going to get – just as much money as you would for a hundred dollars, you're gonna get it for fifty dollars. So you're getting about seven mil. You're gonna, you're getting seven mil for fifty dollars. Normally you're gonna pay a hundred dollars to get eight mil. So it's a pretty good deal. Now if you guys want to get the hundred dollar one, right now it's gonna give you sixteen mil. Probably the best deal I've seen so far because not only is it not a hundred dollars, but uh, or not only are you getting sixteen mil, but it's not even it's not gonna be a hundred dollars. It's actually gonna be eighty five dollars because as you guys can see right now, in a second I'm gonna show you guys. Um, it is currently $85 if you guys see that right there. So if you guys go and buy one, it's not only going to cost you $85 instead of $100, but it's going to give you $16 mil. So you're going to get some pretty good um, currency for that. Now the other one is $50. There's no discount to it. But if you do buy the $50 one, you're getting $7 mil, which is pretty close to getting um, just as much for you know an $8 million one as uh, the $3.5 million one. You're getting about $7 mil, so you're pretty close. So um, it's a really good deal. I would go for it if I were you guys. I did it, and um, I'm waiting to get my extra 8 mil because uh, I haven't received it. I actually did this yesterday, and I still haven't received it. Now, the other biggest thing that I just realized that they came out with, I think today, I didn't see this yesterday, but there's actually um, some bonus uh, points you can get for playing missions. So basically, you get double cash and RP bonuses for all contact missions. So any missions you do, you're going to get twice as much money and RP. And then also the Rockstar Stunt Races, which basically I guess you can just do any race and you're going to get double XP, plus the Hunting Pack as well, which is pretty cool because there's, there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, and wow, okay, so also the other thing I didn't even realize, is that I didn't even see this part, but if you look under right here, the, right there it says, let me zoom that in for you guys a little bit here. So if you guys can't read that, what it says is you get twice as much salary increase for any type of um, – bodyguard or associates that uh, you, you, you hire for your, your CEO or your motorcycle club, you're going to get um, twice as much of, you know, credit when you're playing. Because normally you get about, you know, five to seven K starting out when you're playing. And uh, as you play and you're near the CEO or the VIP, you're going to get some points for just being near him and playing and all that. And so right now, um, it's actually a double increase on that. So you guys will be getting a lot more points for all that if you guys do uh, some CEO work. So uh, pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty sure this just came out today because I was playing um, in an MC yesterday just messing around with some random people. I was online and I just got in his MC. We're doing some MC work and I didn't get double uh, points on that game. So I think this just came out today. So you guys have some time to do that. Let me just see what the date is for that. I'm not sure what date it's going to go until, but um, let me see. Uh, so this is going to go. I don't know if it's going to show the date. Let me see if it shows the date. Um, so it doesn't tell you a date, but... Um, you get twice as much XP for just doing missions. And I, I normally, I don't really do the stunt racing and the hunting pack, all those different adversary modes. I usually just do missions normally when I play on GTA. So it's a pretty good, um, you know, promotion that they're doing if you guys are like me. And, uh, oh, actually, they're actually doing double RC and Bandito races, which basically, if you guys don't know, they actually came out with an RC car, which I just bought yesterday. And um, it's an RC car, if you guys want to see here. Um, I think it's on Arena War. Maybe not. I think it's actually a... Uh, Southern San Andreas, maybe? Um, yeah, there it is. So if you guys buy this vehicle, there's actually some races you can do. And I don't know if you have, I guess you don't have to buy it, but there's some races you can do with it. And uh, it's a pretty fun vehicle. I've used it before and it's kind of weak. Like the explosion radius is very dumb because like when you use it, um, it doesn't even like really explode very far. So like the person was like maybe five feet from me and it didn't even kill him. So it kind of is weak. And it says zero people are allowed in this vehicle right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it's, it's a zero person vehicle, which is really annoying because the problem for me is, um, you can't even like have fun with people. Like all you, only thing you can really do is have your friend 
kind of be in the session and run around and you can just fuck around with him with this vehicle, but you can't like let someone try it out, use it, anything. It's only you that can use it and you just become the vehicle. And so you basically, I mean, it's not even as fun as I thought it would be because I thought there was more to it, but apparently there isn't. So I feel like I wasted money on this. I wouldn't buy it if I were you guys. Um, it's, it's a really, I mean, it has its perks to where, you know, you can go around the GTA map and troll people and have fun and just screw around. That's kind of the point of this thing, I think. But uh, it would have been awesome if you could have at least had your friend, like you could have someone in it, because it's a two-person vehicle. I mean, it shows two little uh, mini characters in there, and you're obviously one of them, and you become the vehicle. But I feel like if someone wants to join in with you, um, you should be able to invite them into the vehicle, and uh, you should just be able to drive this thing around and just have someone with you so they can just be seeing what you're seeing, and you guys can just kind of screw around and have some fun. Because I feel like that would be more fun than having the person um, be in the map, and then you're just driving this around. It's kind of stupid. And then the other thing I noticed is that it takes a while for you to load back in. So like. If you guys want to see, for example, let me just call one in real quick, and um, I'm just going to show you. So, I mean, the funny thing with this vehicle is it doesn't allow you to, uh, when you spawn in, in it, um, obviously the only way to move, you know, get out of it is to destroy it, which I don't know if you guys realize, but um, the thing with this vehicle is the only way to destroy it is to buy the actual explosives on it, and it costs like maybe 300000 so the only real way to, to, to destroy or to, to exit this vehicle once you're in it, there's no way to really get out of it. There's no lights. There's no, you can throw EMPs down, but there's no lights. Um, you can throw a few EMPs down. And, um, oh wow, that, that thing just blew me away. Um, I actually put explosives on this vehicle. And so, your personal aircraft has been destroyed. What personal aircraft? How did it get destroyed? Oh, I can't even fix it. Um, but I have a jumping thing. And you can actually upgrade the jump because it only starts with 20% jump, which is cool. Because at least you get to jump in general with default. But... You have to buy the 100% jump, which isn't even that high. You can barely even jump over a car, barely. I mean, if you guys notice how, t how high this is, I mean, you can barely jump over a convertible, let alone an SUV. You, can probably, you probably can't even jump over an SUV, but um, yeah, you can barely go over the SUV. You're not going to make it over it. But So the thing with this vehicle is the only way to get out of it and to exit out of this vehicle is to, you basically just have to destroy it. And the only way you can destroy it is if you buy the explosives or if you drown it in the water. So um, I'm not really sure if there's any other way to really, you know, do that, but um, if you hold LB, it'll go ahead and detonate the explosives. And so I'm going to go ahead and just detonate it real quick, and I just went ahead. But if you guys notice, this is the thing, though. Even if you do get it destroyed, look how long it's going to take. Let's just see how long it's going to take. About six seconds. About ten seconds. Took about 11, 12 seconds for this to load me back in. And if I were to just kill myself right now, like, let's, let's just kill myself real quick. Actually, let me just kill myself with a normal pistol, because... If I use that grenade or whatever, it's going to cost me a lot. So let's just see right now. So one, two, let's just count real quick. Three, four, five. So it takes about four or five seconds for you to come back in. So it takes almost twice. And I know that's not really a big deal. I'm kind of making up shit right now. Like, oh, it takes forever to load back in. or But you know what I mean? It's like, it, it does take a while though. Because when you're just playing and then you end up destroying or whatever, it takes you forever to spawn in. And the problem is when you spawn back in, you spawn as your character right in the middle of who knows God where. And so you can basically get screwed because if someone's right there, they're going to kill you. So it's really annoying because that vehicle, um, that little RC car, they, they really need to fix some of the things that you know you can do with it. Because um, just for example, like I was just showing you, when you spawn in, I mean, you basically are vulnerable right away as soon as you spawn in. And you don't know when you're going to spawn in because it takes like 10 to 15 seconds for you to spawn in. This is a private session. So if I was online, it probably that's why I feel like it takes longer because when I'm online, it took a lot longer. I think it took 20 seconds for me to spawn in online. And because uh, obviously there's a lot more people and just to spawn in your garage, it takes a while as well. And, you know, it just it's that way. But I just feel like with that vehicle, it just takes forever because when you spawn in after you die, it doesn't take nearly as long. So kind of annoying, but just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. So I actually did buy the um, Itali GTO. I really like the way the front looks. The back even looks pretty cool, too. I, I really like this car. It looks pretty nice. And so I decided to buy it because I was kind of at a I was kind of trying to decide whether or not to buy that vehicle or the what's the other vehicle? Um, the Devastate, um, the Devastate, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I, uh, I didn't want to buy this because it just looks so dumb. I mean, honestly, even just looking at someone's recommendation and uh, looking up some people's YouTube videos on what they think about it, they think it's a good car, but just because the way it looks, they wouldn't get it just because of that. And so, I mean, that's enough for me because I already, I'm looking at this and the front just looks really cheaply made and it just doesn't look good. I like the back. Don't get me wrong. I really like the style on the back. I mean, I'm almost tempted to get it just because the back looks that good. But, I mean, the front and, like, you know, even, like, the sides with the doors, like, these weird little tiny thin-ass paper mirrors right here. If you guys see these little tiny mirrors, I mean, they're just, like, so crispy thin. 
I mean, they're like little fries. I, I swear, it's like the craziest thing. I mean, I don't even know what they're trying to make out of this thing. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a Pagani and like some other car mixed together. I really don't even know because I, I'm not even sure. Maybe a Koenig's egg or um, K K Koenig's egg, whatever you call it. Um, I, I don't even know. But honestly, I would probably go for the Itali GTO because this one's just about the same price. It's literally maybe 100000 maybe 150000 higher. But um, you're getting a way better car. It actually drives really good too. And I also have the shell again, if you guys don't know. And uh, it's actually right here. It's all it's back here. And I really like the shell again. It's kind of like a little Mercedes, um, one of those little tiny Mercedes class cars, like those little tiny uh, SLKs or um, CLKs, like those little tiny ones that are like little um, sporty coupe ones. I, I really like this thing. It's really nice. And uh, I think my favorite car so far that I have is probably going to be the. Um, the XA21. I think my favorite car in GT is probably the XA21, possibly the T20, but those are probably my top two cars. And after buying this Itali, I really like it. I like the way it looks and it drives really good. So this is probably my top three cars right here is the, the T20, the um, Itali, and then um, the XA21. Now there's another Itali in the game. If you guys go to Benny's website, um, it's kind of a similar name, I'm pretty sure. It's, it's, it's kind of weird because they have like basically the same name, which is interesting. But um, there's another one called, I don't know what it's called exactly, it's called the Itali something, let me see what it's called. Um, it's called the Itali GTB, and I used to have that car, and it was nice, but I, I don't really care for it as much. It, it, it's an alright car, I mean, I'm not really sure what they were going for, I think they were trying to go for the Lincoln Hypersport, but it, it's alright. And uh, I think I had the Bugatti, and I decided to get rid of it, because I just don't care for it as much, and it's just not that good of a car, and it doesn't drive as well, so I got rid of it, but... Um, I definitely think that this Itali GTO is probably really, you know, really one of the best cars. I mean, it's kind of one of those, I mean, to start, you know, these cars that have been coming out are probably like the most expensive cars you're going to see on GTA's um, top list of vehicles, most expensive vehicles, but they're pretty nice, some of them, and, you know, you just got to pick and choose which ones you like, and obviously just selling one that you don't like, you're going to get at least half your money back, so at least that will give you a chance to be able to get other things that you may possibly like, so it kind of helps out a little bit, but I really just like these supercars because they have just these little secondary colors that kind of fill in little gaps and little details that really make it look nice. And so like, you know, with some of these cars, if I get tired of this pink, I can change it to like red, yellow, green. And with this one, I can change it to another color. And it just makes it nice because obviously with the T20, there's not really anything to change with it. It's all one color. And I think there's one secondary part of it that will actually be this back part right here. I think that changes to a secondary if you have a secondary. And I just made it chrome, I'm pretty sure. But um, it'd be nice if they did something, because like the Zen Torno is one of those cars that have like all the secondary colors, which is nice, but um, not too much, just a slight little details, but that's why I would love for, you know, the T20 to be one of those cars. That's why I like the newer ones, because they have like all those little secondary details, not too many, but slight little bits, even the, um, whatever, I forgot what this car is called, the GP1, kind of like the McLaren F1, that one's pretty nice too, it kind of has those similar details, but um, that's why I like the newer cars, they have all those little details, but anyway... Before we get off track, which I probably already went pretty off track for a little while there, but um, just want to explain to you guys. So the main purpose of this video is just to tell you guys, make sure you do not forget, and I'm just pointing at the ceiling because it's somewhere up there. Don't forget that that sharp card, if you guys decide to get one, it's going to be double points. So just make sure you guys get your hands on one before it's too late because uh, that's probably the best deal I've seen so far, especially for that $8 million or the $100 one. Not only are you getting 16 mil, I haven't seen a deal that good with even even $100 for 16 mil. I mean, that's amazing. You're getting double the money. I mean, imagine normally you're paying eight mil, you're paying $100 for 8 mil. I mean, you're getting 16 mil. That's pretty good. I'm not trying to advertise, but I mean, just for real though, I bought one because that's a pretty good deal. And not only that, but like I said, it's $85. So it's, that's like the best deal I've seen so far. Uh, because the best deal I saw prior to this was where it was $85, but you got 50% bonus. So you would get four mil and it would be it would end up being 12 mil for uh, 85, but now they've boosted it to double. So it's 16 mil for uh, 85. So it's a pretty good deal. But just again, like I said, contact missions and um, the races and something else, whatever those couple different um, adversary modes, they're all gonna give you double points. And also the uh, VIP and uh, CEO missions being, um, not the VIP itself or the CEO itself, it's gonna be the people that you're hiring are gonna get double uh, points every so often for being um, a, an associate or a, um, a bodyguard or whatever. So if you guys wanna do one of those, you guys might as well take advantage before it ends. I'm not sure what the date is that it's gonna going to end on. It doesn't have a date, but uh, it's probably gonna end in a few days. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, YouTube.